When I first started using computers back in the 80s, I had to memorize every keystroke. You know, and if you hit the wrong keys, you could bring down the space shuttle. I hated it. Then Windows PCs and the Mac introduced the mouse and everything became much easier. But now I'm back making a video on iPad keyboard shortcuts. I can't believe I'm talking about keystrokes again. But I'm telling you, memorize even a couple of these keyboard shortcuts and using the iPad with a keyboard will be so much better. Hi, my name is Rich and I make easy to follow videos on how to use your iPad and iPhone and today's video is no exception. I'm going to show you 10 super useful keyboard shortcuts that I use all the time. But to make things easy, you don't have to memorize this stuff. I've included a link in the description below to a one-page PDF that contains all of these shortcuts and their associated functions. You can click on that link and download it if you want it. My guess is that you may already know about some of these as well as, you know, not care about some of the others. But there's probably a few that you don't know about that you might find very helpful. And by the way, if you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing. I'm grateful for everyone who follows this channel. Okay, before we get started, I just want to say I'm using the iPad Magic Keyboard that has what's called the Globe Key right here. If you have just a regular Apple keyboard like this, the Function Key right here serves as the Globe Key. So I only have the Globe Key on my Magic Keyboard, but I use this keyboard a lot with my iPad, and so I just use the Function Key, so the two are interchangeable. So if you're using a keyboard like this, you'll be good to go. Okay, the first keyboard shortcut I want to show you is just how to bring up Spotlight Search. It's a way to search for anything on your iPad. You can just tap Command Space, and there you go. And then if you type in Safari, you can click the Return, and it opens Safari. If you bring it up again, you can just type in, say, Calendar, and click Return, and it'll open your calendar just like that. Just remember, Command Space will bring up Spotlight Search no matter where you are. Super handy. Okay, the next key command is probably my favorite. It's to bring up a quick note. And all you do is you tap Globe Q, and it's easy to remember because Q is for quick note. And you can just type another quick note. Just like that. Well, you won't spell it that way. Like that, quick done. And now you're done. And again, if you want to just bring up another quick note, globe Q, and you've got another quick note, just like that. Click done. Super handy. And by the way, I don't know if you're like me, but I use those quick notes like sticky notes. So I just bring it up, type something in real quick, and then it goes over into Apple Notes. And then I go back in there and figure out whether I want to keep it or delete it. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is just how to get back to your home screen very quickly. Let's say you're in an app like Photos, like this. To get back to home screen, it's just globe and H, just like that. No matter where you are, you can be in music, and you can hit globe H, and you're back to your home screen, and you can have a whole bunch of different apps open. But again, globe H is for home screen, and it's easy to remember because it's H. You know, globe Q is quick note, globe H is home screen. Pretty easy. The next thing I want to show you is just how to bring up Control Center. Normally you have to kind of reach up here and swipe down and you can bring up Control Center. But if you hit Globe C, you can bring up Control Center that way. And maybe you want to turn on dark mode like that. Again, Globe C for Control Center. Pretty easy to remember Again, because it's C for Control Center. So you're starting to sort of get the idea of what I'm doing here. H is for Home Screen, Q is for Quick Note, C is for Control Center. Pretty handy. The next one is just to bring up your notifications. Now, you know, sometimes when you have Notification Center on your home screen like that, uh, that's where you see it. But if you want to check your notifications, you can just tap Globe In like that, and that brings that back up. Very handy. Sometimes I'm working on something and I know that I've gotten a few notifications in and I haven't paid attention to them. And just hitting globe in will bring all of those notifications back up for me to check real quick. Super handy. The next thing I want to show you is a command to how to bring up the dock. So let's say you're in the Photos app like this. If you notice, the dock is not here at the bottom. But if you hit globe A, 
you can bring up the dock. Now, and if you hit globe A again, it takes the dock away. So you could swipe up with your finger and bring the dock up, but globe A will bring it up and then toggle it back down when you want to get it out of the way. And this is handy when you're wanting to open um, up apps in split screen. So maybe you want the calendar up beside you like that and bringing up globe A will allow you to do that. The next one is kind of related to the last key command. You had globe A to bring up the dock. But if you tap globe shift A, it'll bring up the app library like that so you can find any app that you want that's on your iPad. Okay, let's say you're in an app like this, like photos. You can hit globe shift A and bring up the app library and you can hit globe shift A and hide the app library. Pretty handy. The next key command allows you to just sort of navigate through all of your apps that you have open. So right now I have the photos app open but again if I tap globe and arrow I can just go through the various apps that I have just like this. And you can go through them one by one. You can scroll just like that or you can globe and go back the other way using the other arrow. So you've got the left and right arrows that you can use to get to different things just like that. Pretty handy. You may have an app up like this and you want to do split screen. Well, there is the ability to swipe up and to take an app here and drag it over. You can do that or you can hit globe control and the left arrow and it takes it over to the side and you can just open the app like that and it's immediately opened in split screen and you didn't have to do all of that fiddling around to get it up that way. Again, you're in this, you hit globe control left arrow, takes it over, you can choose an app and now you're in split view just like that. So quick and easy and once you get the hang of this you'll be doing that all the time. Okay the last thing I want to show you is just how to zoom in and out and this works in a whole variety of different apps. I'm going to open up photos and if you hit command plus it makes the photos bigger. If you hit command minus it makes the photos smaller. So it's just a way to be able to better see. I can't see anything that way so I have to kind of blow stuff up like that and then I can find it. And this doesn't just work in photos, it works in other apps too. Let's go into Safari a website and you can hit command command plus here and make it bigger. Command minus and make it smaller just like that. So in different applications you can use that zoom in and zoom out function really really handy. So there you have it, a handful of useful keyboard shortcuts that will make using your iPad so much better. Be sure to check out the link in the description below for a list of all of these shortcuts. Believe me, you'll have these built into your muscle memory in no time. Okay, that's a wrap for today. I hope you found this short tutorial helpful. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.